Okay, so welcome to Math Story. Yeah? And for this problem, so find the standard equation of the hyperbola which satisfies the given conditions. So we have this the equation of asymptotes and the vertex. So since in the hyperbola, the point of intersection of the asymptotes is the center. So therefore, to find the center of this hyperbola, we're going to use this equation of asymptotes. And for the first equation of asymptotes, that's y equals 71 over 3 minus 4 over 3 then times x. Then we need to simplify so since the denominators are 3, so we just need to multiply the whole equation by 3. Then distribute, so 3 times y, that's 3y, then equals 3 times 71 over 3. So this time we can cancel now this 3, so that's 71. Then to this term, so again, we can cancel now this 3, so we have negative 4x. So this is now our first equation. Then from the second equation of asymptotes, so we have y equals 4 over 3x minus 17 over 3. So again, to simplify, so we need to multiply this whole equation by positive 3 because the denominators are 3. Then distribute, so this one is 3y, then equals to this term. So cancel now this 3, so we have 4x. Then to this term, so cancel 3, so we have negative 17. And this one is the second equation. Then to solve now for x and y, so we can combine these two equations. So for the first equation, that's 3y equals 71 minus 4x. And for the second equation, that's 3y equals, so we just need to align so starts with this negative 17 then plus 4x then you add these two equations so this 3 plus 3 this one is 6y equals so this 71 minus 17 so this one is 54 then this time we can cancel now this negative 4x and positive 4x. Then to solve for y, so divide both sides by 6. So therefore y is equal to, so 54 divided by 6, that's positive 9. Then to solve now for x, so to solve for x, so from any of this equation, then substitute this value of y. So using uh, the first equation, so we have 3 times y and y is equal to 9, then equals 71 minus 4x. Then simplify, so this 3 times 9, this one is 27 equals 71 minus 4x. Then transpose this 4x that becomes positive 4x equals 71. Transpose this 27 that becomes negative 27. Then we have now 4x equals this 71 minus 27 so this one is 44 and divide both sides by 4 cancel so therefore x is equal to so 44 divided by 4 that's positive 
11. So therefore, from the solution, we have now the center. So that's x and x is positive 11. Then y, that's positive 9. So the center is 11, 9. So this time, we can graph now this hyperbola. So from the given coordinates, so from this vertex, x is positive 17. So we have positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this one is positive 17 for positive x. Then y is positive 9. So positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this one is positive 9 for positive y. Then you connect. So this is now the point of the vertex. Then for the center, so x is positive 11. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This one is positive 11. And y is positive 9. So this one is positive 9. So you connect. And this is now the point of the center. Then observe that from the center to the vertex, so the position of the vertex is horizontal. So therefore, this hyperbola is a horizontal hyperbola. And formula for the horizontal hyperbola, that's x minus h quantity squared over a squared in minus y minus k quantity to the power 2 over b squared, then equals 1. Then to find the value of this h and k from the center, so from the center, this one is h and this one is k. So h is positive 11 and k is positive 9. Then for a, so to solve for a, Thus, from center to vertex, this one is A. So, therefore, to find the value of A from the center to this vertex, so we're going to use the counting method. And in counting, you start counting on the next point. So, from this point, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so therefore, A is equal to 6. Then to solve for B from the equation of the asymptotes, so take note that if the hyperbola is vertical, the formula for the asymptote, that's A over B. If the hyperbola is horizontal, that's B over A. Since this hyperbola is horizontal, so therefore, we're going to use this formula, the B over A. And from the given equation of asymptotes, so we need to pick this positive 4 over 3. This one is the asymptote. So we have this 4 over 3 equals B over A. Then since A is equal to 6, so we have now 4 over 3 equals B over A is equal to 6. Then to solve for B, cross multiply, this one is 3B equals 4 times 6, that's 24. 
then divide by 3 to solve for B. So therefore, B is equal to positive 8. So since we have now the four values, the H, K, A, and B, so we can write now the standard equation of this hyperbola from this formula. So we have X minus H, and H is 11, then to the power 2 over A squared, and A is equal to 6, so that's 6 squared minus, so y, minus k, and k is positive 9, then to the power 2 over b squared, and b is 8, this one is 8 squared, then equals 1. Then to simplify, so we have x minus 11 to the power 2 over 6 squared is 36 minus y minus 9 to the power 2 over 8 squared, this one is 64, then equals 1. So this is now the standard equation of this hyperbola.